Alright, greetings everybody. So Charlie Vaughn, I just want to take a minute to say thank, welcome to this new type of video I'm doing. Um, for those of you who are scared for my skate um, content, don't worry, I got more skate stuff coming on, but I actually wanted to take a stab at actually doing a real true moto vlog. So, about a month ago, some of you who may have watched my skating content know, I had a motorcycle accident. It was a hit and run, and I was hit by a car that just, you know, plowed into me and kept on going. So, after th d due to the fact that I wear, um, you know, appropriate gear, I just have this cast on my hand because my thumb is dislocated by at the wrist, but a few more weeks and I should have this off. But this is what I'm here to tell you about. You guys probably already guessed. Here it is. It's a KTM folder. What's this KTM folder? I want to try and talk about my new 2019 KTM 690 SMCR. Supermoto <laughs> bike, um, but to do so, I just want to show you guys like a couple of things, like what you. Well, it's kind of different. Like maybe if you've only owned Japanese bikes, or maybe you not haven't even bought a motorcycle. But this, I just want to show you what it's kind of like what you get with a KTM as compared to you know other bikes. So previously, I've only owned Kawasaki bikes, and this is my first. <clears throat> excuse me. This is my first non-Kawasaki motorcycle. So I'm really excited to actually get to try it out once I, you know, get out this cast. So this is what you. So once you when you buy the bike, you get this great folder that comes with it. It says KTM on it. I've been showing it back and forth, ready to race. You know, get this great folder. And inside this folder, you know, you have um, some business cards. This is a dealer where I bought it from. If you guys are in the California Bay Area, check out Ace Motorsports. They're great. They treated me so well there, and I'm actually really glad that um, I was able to get this bike from them because they're really great. Normally, when I go to dealers, you know, it takes me a while to get someone to even notice me. Then I always have to be asking for help. It's really hard for people to actually, you know, come up and say, hey, welcome to our shop. I mean, it shouldn't be, but that's how they kind of are out here in the Bay Area in some of the motorcycle spots. But Ace Motorsports, I experienced none of that. It's a great, great shop. And I'm, they, I'm sure if I'm in the market again for another KTM or, du or another European bike, they sell Ducatis and Triumphs as well. I'll definitely head there and I'll definitely send anybody there who's thinking of buying a um, European bike. So inside the folder, you know, you get your, look at this, this big, beautiful instruction manual. Own, instruction manual, owner's manual, I'm sorry. <laughs> but see, this owner's manual is huge compared to, like, say, for example, my 2016 Ninja um, Kawasaki ZX-10R. That's its owner's manual. I mean, it's like a quarter of the size of this, you know? So it's a little different between you know Japanese and European KTM is from Austria I just recently um, realized that I had it wrong all along I thought they were from Australia I will note my ignorance on that as I said I was a cow pure, purely Kawasaki person but anyway they're from Austria same place as Arnold Schwarzenegger so here's your owner's manual you get it inside the binder you get you know it says ready to race that's KTM steel inside the binder you also have um <clears throat> nice catalog of stuff you can get if you're gonna outfit your bike This is kind of hard for me to actually open right now because I don't have use my thumb on this hand But I'm gonna get it open. There we go perseverance You know you get your you know all orange Seem orange is also my favorite color so it's kind of matches up You know it tells you about the different stuff they got so it's just a catalog for different things and What you can get with it the power suit power wear uh, It tells you look at that that's the exhaust you can put on the bike. It's a Acroprovic exhaust. Um, and yeah, let's, I don't want to keep too much into this thing. But yeah, you get that this catalog right here of um, the power parts, power wear, and original spare parts, you know, for your KTM. All right, what else is in this folder? This is uh, my important papers, which I'm not even going to put on screen. It details my payment information. I'm knocking stuff over. Don't worry about that. And... The final thing inside here is your trusty toolkit. Board work zug zug zug. Board work zug zug zug. Board where's zug? Board. Let's see. It says board work work zug. Board work zug. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I probably butchered German or Austrian. I believe that's what they speak in Austria. Is is Austrian. I don't know if it's German, but I might be wrong. Not really too sure. But anyway, that's a toolkit. <laughs> and now the keys on KTM bikes. These are, this is the key. This is not the key I'm using. This is my spare key that actually came with the bike when they delivered it. So this is the key. And here it is. Um, 
Let's see if I can get the key out to show you guys. So it's in this, it's in this awesome. I don't want to show that on camera. Let's keep that off camera. I don't know if it has any key codes on it. But um, yeah, that's the key. It's like in a little holster. And let's keep this part out of here. And try and get the key out. And there we go. That's the actual key. Just, you know, standard key. Ain't nothing, nothing special about this key except that it comes in a cool holster. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the first step of um, what it's like owning a KTM. Now, I'm mainly a commuter on this bike. I got to replace my um, Kawasaki Ninja 650R. So it's going to be my pretty much my, um, it's going to be heavily reliant as my computer tra commuter transportation. So let's take a look at the in owner's van a little bit. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of huge. Um, so this is my first actual supermoto. So there's a few things I was always worried about because, you know, dirt bikes have a lot of a high maintenance threshold. And, you know, <clears throat> I know how to do m small things on the bike, like maybe like change the oil, deal with the coolant. But usually when it comes to the engine, I let the professionals handle that. But the beautiful thing about this bike, I'm trying to find the actual um, service service um, service chart so you guys can see the, the, um, the schedule maintenance. So excuse me a moment, guys, while I find this. My hands are, you know, one's in a cast and one isn't. So I'm going to pause it for now until I find it. All right, guys, and here we are. So I found the service intervals page, and that's the one thing I was really worried about with, um, you know, like Supermoto or dirt bikes because they, uh, it's not really a dirt bike, it's a Supermoto, it's a, it's a road-built bike. Um, and the maintenance on those bikes are a little bit more intensive than, say, a you know, a road bike, like a, like a super sport or a sports cruiser or what have you, you know, like a traditional light bike, like a Kawasaki 650R, for example, or a Kawasaki ZX-10R. But I want to show you the intervals here. So you have your 600 miles. I'm sorry if the, um, it's not as clear, guys. This is not my normal camera I would use for videos. Um, so just, um, please bear with me at the moment. Um, so yeah, so here's your service intervals. You got your 620 miles to break in. 6,200 mile, 12,400 mile, then every year, every two years, and after every sporting use. You know, so it goes through all your um, required maintenance, and then so on and so forth. Now let me show you how that compares with the scheduled maintenance for a um, Kawasaki ZX-10R. All right, so this is the manual for my ZX-10R here. As you can see, the service manual is 600, um, then it goes to 3.8, 3,800, 7,600, 11,400 and 15,000 torch. Of course, you know, the services go higher than, you know, beyond what's listed in the owner's manual. You need a service manual for that. But yeah, so, but these are like the initial, the initial marks for what you do. And you know, there's a bit of, um, there's, you know, stuff, normal stuff that you would normally take care of, like change brake fluid every so and so year, every two years, they say to do that. You know, like things like that. Normal, it's, it seems to be a normal road similar road bike um, type of maintenance except for the tires now on this bike as you can see there are spoked rims on this bike so I'm not I know with spoked tires you have to kinda con be concerned about them because if the tension's not right it can lead to disaster if um if the um, tension's not right it could lead to leaking but these are tubeless tires so I don't know if that's gonna really be a problem um, there's a section actually in the, uh, I can actually get to that in a follow-up video once I read that section on the tuning. I read, I read through it, I could skim through it. The section, there's, the se there's a section on the, um, tuning of the spokes. Apparently they have to be tuned a certain way, so. And I'll let the dealer handle that when I have my tire changes and whatnot, because I'm not too familiar with how to do that. But, so, that's what's in the KTM Welcome Kit, I'm calling it. Now let, let's go take a look at the bike. I, I'm so, I'm gonna get to it now. We're gonna go out. We're gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna check it out in my garage right next to my ZX10R. All right, all right, guys, and we are back. And here it is, the KT 2019 KTM SMC 690. Sorry, 690 SMCR. It's a lot going on. I know. It's in my garage, so I'm, it's not really the best lighting. But I'll try to get you guys a good look at it. There's the display cluster, very minimalistic and basic. There's the controls over here. That's where your key goes. This nice, lovely, um, comfortable seat. <laughs> here is the gas tank. This is where you 
which is gas obviously. And here's the tail section of the bike. I'm not going to show my license plate number because I don't want you guys bothering me. <laughs> uh, here's the stock exhaust. Stock exhaust. It's a stock bike. Here are those spoke tires I was telling you guys about. They're spoked. There we go. They come with that Bridgestone S21 tires. So they're, you know, regular road tires for Bridgestone. Um, the same tire, it's pretty much the same tire sizes as my 650R. So I, I could probably, even if I didn't want to deal with the spoked um, rims, I could probably just swap it in, swap out a, um, a road tire, a, stand, a standard road rim for it. But, you know, I kind of like the look of the spoke, so I'll keep it. Brand new chain, it's still got the factory wax on it, obviously. I got the um, passenger foot pegs put on, because why not? Maybe my wife will come for a ride one day. Standard foot pegs. There goes your clutch. Here's the brake side. Same thing. Some graphics. Here's the mirrors. Grips. Oh, and here's the, um, I'm not sure if it's being picked up on camera. It's probably not, but like this right here, this is the section. When I turn on, you'll see the lights light up. This is the section where you can set your traction control and which map you want it in. So let's, see, let's take a look at how it looks compared to a 2016 ZX-10R. As you can see, it's way taller. You know, the ZX-10R, more powerful bike, faster bike, super sport bike, but this thing looks like a beast next to it. It looks tiny next to the SMC-690R. Front turn signals, mirrors, yeah, so like for this bike, I think like probably the only things I would mod would be the mirrors. I may get some bar and mirrors, maybe angle them down. Or I think there's a way you can actually have mirrors with um, these guards, with the hand guards as well. Um, so yeah, that's the pretty much the only thing I would do. Um, obviously, I would swap in a, um, an exhaust. As you can see, my ZX-10R doesn't have an aftermarket exhaust as of yet because I'm still on the fence about doing that because it's... You know, it's rather pricey and it's a lot of work that needs to be done for, you know, for swapping out the exhaust. Because on my 650, like I would always be one to say, oh, I want to swap the exhaust because it's louder and people hear it. But on my 650, which had a Yoshimura pipe on it, which was pretty loud. Yeah, the car didn't hear me. It just came over, knocked me out. Uh, if this video gets some views, maybe I'll do a, um, I'll talk to you guys about my 10R, but I just want to talk about my, um, the KTM right now. I'm just showing you a little bit of my 10R. So yeah, here's the stock ex the stock exhaust. As you can see, it's just a big can. They have an Acroprovic one, which looks a lot better, honestly. I mean, stock exhaust are just stock exhaust. But now, so you guys are probably wondering how it sounds. So let's do that. So yeah, there ain't no flashy TFT graphics here. Nothing, nothing like that. Which is, well, you know, I kind of like that because even with same with the. The um, 10R is kind of a simple display. I like the simple displays. I'm not all about the flashy graphics and stuff. I have video games for that. So, <laughs> so yeah. So that's that. So here it is. Yeah. As you can see, here's the map selection. If I press this button, if I can just angle my thumb so it doesn't hurt when I press something. There we go. It selects map number two. Map number two is now selected. And the traction control is on. Traction control cannot be turned off. You need the power part, part dongle to do that. Um, I don't have that, so... Plus, I, I'm the kind of person who would keep traction control on regardless. I'm not taking it to a track or anything. But even with number two, I believe it's um, more supermodal traction control, so it's not as invas in invasive as... Um, let me just see if I can press that again. Map no mode number one, which is just the standard road mode with more traction control, more, you know, s slow going, even power dis distribution and so forth. So, what does the bike sound like? Let's find out. Well, I know what it sounds like, but it's for you guys. All right, here we go. Sorry, I already had it turned on. Look at that. Rookie mistake, I know. I don't know if it's coming through, but that's the talking to us. Let it warm up a little bit, and then we'll give it a couple revs. Let's take a look at the turn signals. That's something I haven't ever looked at. So the turn signals. There you go. Yeah, 
This button here, that's the ABS button. You can turn ABS completely off, but I'm going to leave it on for, for my own personal reasons. But it can be turned off. The forks are fully adjustable. I have a lot to learn about adjustable forks, so we'll have to save that for another time. Give us all a pull. Only 5.4. That's a dealer put those miles on it when they did test ride on it. So yeah, brand new. I'm loving it. Turn this guy off. So, yeah, that's pretty much my um, want to do my intro video for this bike. I'll let you guys know how it is living with it, how it is to commute on it, and how it is just to you know have fun on it. Cause I think I'll be having a lot more, um, a lot more you know, fun on this bike for commuting than the 10R because the 10R amazing bike. I love it, but it is overpowered for commuting purposes. It's like no joke how overpowered it is. And this bike is a lot lighter, so it should be a lot easier for me to, you know, to you know, maneuver through traffic. Just, you know, the, day of the daily wear and tear of commuting, how it can be. But yeah, that's it. If you want to see more, you know what to do. You got to like, subscribe, um, do all that good stuff. Help this channel grow a little bit. Try to add new content. If you're here for skate content, there's plenty of skate content coming. Don't worry about it. But this bike, I just did the intro on the... 2019 KTM 6 SMC 690 no 690 SMC R. <laughs> this is Richard Lee Vaughn. I just like to say it once again to you guys: keep everything you do positive. You make it happen. Peace. Okay, guys. One more thing before we go. I forgot to mention. I just came back inside. You also get this awesome orange pen with the purchase of <laughs> with the KTM. It comes in the binder. I overlooked it when I was going through earlier, but. That's it. You know how we end these things, man. Peace.